Alright, before we get into the video, I just want to remind you that these tests were performed in a very controlled scientific testing environment with all necessary safety precautions taken. And uh, thank you, let's get on with the video. Hello guys, welcome back to another epic all original video. As you probably gathered from the title, today I'm going to be making a trebuchet. As you probably can tell by the uh, pieces of wood I'm standing on, it's going to be big. My history teacher actually asked me to build a catapult to kick off our school's pumpkin relays. I'm going to basically build a big catapult that's going to fling like medium to large sized pumpkins. So um, yeah, let's just dive right into building this thing now. see here got the catapult finished um, I'm gonna do some test fires of this thing with 1 8 power I've got seven more of these 50 foot bungee cords and for my first test projectile I'm gonna be using my uh, my dog's ball <laughs> are you bullying me with the rope attached to it and uh, we're gonna be firing out into the yard that way just to test to make sure the thing actually works and then um, yeah well we'll see how it goes with the pumpkin later but first let's just let's start small with this ball Three, two, one. Woo! Well, that works. Oh, it's stuck. Bruh. All right, I now have um, double the bungee cords now. So, double the firing power. And I've also got a heavier weight because my, uh, my other one is stuck up in a tree currently. Bruh. 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 So, I'm going to go ahead and load this thing and fire it. happened there is that it released too early, so I'm going to take a hammer and I'm going to bend the pin forward so that it releases later. Alright, here we go, test number three. That's pretty good. They still separate a little bit early. So I think I'll hammer the pin a little bit more over. One million zillion jillion dillion cotillion times later. Alright guys, got the rest of the bands on. Uh, we're losing light, so I'm going to do the uh, Full power test, just one of them right now. <laughs> All right, guys, so in wake of the arm snapping up, basically, I've reduced the power by half. Um, because I think that was twice as much power as it actually needs. So that's really works well. So just to test this thing to make sure that it can fire a pumpkin, I'm gonna fire a pumpkin. Here you go. I'll come back here. Three, two, one. Okay. Oh, that's a problem. Did not make a hole. We're all good. The next day. Well, guys, I was filming a cinematic shot and the uh, the arm snapped again. Stop so, it. So get some help. Yeah, it somehow pulled all of my nails out. So I'm gonna put a few more screws in. One eternity later. All right, guys. So as you can see here, I finished the um, trebuchet. I fixed it, foamed up this um, pumpkin here. So hopefully if it lands, it's not gonna like break or anything. Yeah, I mean let's let's just send it, I guess. Alright guys, let's do this. Wow, 
podcast. We'll see what happened in the podcast. How is it? It's all right. It's all oh, it's okay. it's cracked in half. This is fine. This is fine. We can launch it again. Let's do this. If nothing happens with the pumpkin, the pin could swivel around and then it would go backwards. If nothing happens with the pin, it should go forwards. Or the arm could snap and it wouldn't go anywhere. Well, it kind of went forwards. Two weeks later. Today I'm taking it to school and get it all ready for tomorrow when I'm going to fire it. I'm going to fire it. For the last time right now, before we take it to school. The next day. Yeah, so I think it's safe to say that this project was a success, and I would like to thank all involved for helping me make this happen. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing, as it means a lot to me. I have big things planned for the channel, so be sure to stick around.